guys, welcome to another Open Tunes tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about lip syncing and uh, the if you've used Anime Studio you probably know what a switch layer is and uh, we're gonna use the equivalent of a switch layer in Open Tunes. So first we need a head and a face to lip sync off of and uh, this, this tutorial is uh, I'm going to proceed assuming that you guys know how to make new colors, how to make new levels, and save, and uh, just do all the basic stuff. Okay, now we have the character base. We're going to be drawing this girl moving her mouth. And uh, so when we're lip syncing, we need two things. We need the audio that we need the lips to be following. And we need to draw the mouth movements itself. So we're going to start off by doing the audio, importing audio into Open Tunes. And if you have Audacity, this is going to be a whole lot easier for you. Alright, so we have our audio test file, which is a dot .aiff. I don't know, do you just pronounce that AIF? That sounds weird. So it's got to be in this format, I think, for OpenTunes. Um, there have been some problems with OpenTunes and audio and video files. So a dot .aiff is your best bet. And you can uh, export and uh, edit audio at, into an AIFF with Audacity. If you have downloaded that, it's free and it's really good. So I'll just drag this into Open Tunes into our timeline. And I just like to click load. And now we have an audio file. So let's uh, let's make this image the length of the audio file and a little longer. And then we will press play and see what happens. Yeah, okay, but the other plan was still better. Yay, the audio plays! Now we have our audio files and it's time to make a new level for the mouth. My cat is in the room with me being noisy, so if there are any more bell noises, that's what it is. Alright, we have a new level. Let's uh, copy this color. I don't think I covered this in my colors video, so sorry about that. You can right click a style and click copy and move into another level and uh, press paste color and you'll get the color again. So that's really useful, really nice. I'd like to take a look at Anime Studio with you guys because they have a whole lot of examples of mouth movements. So let's just import a mouth right here and take a look at how it's going to work. Um, which one should we get? I don't know. I, I just like Liz. So let's import Liz and just get her mouth. Delete everything else. Okay, so now we have this mouth layer and I'm gonna open it up and take a look at the different shapes it has. We have rest, this one is for making the sound A or I. This is for the sound E. This is for sounds like E and T and C. This is for F and V. L, M and B and P. And some others, like this one is for fear. This one is grinning. This is a big happy smile. This is a mouth slightly open, like for eating or something. This is a frown. This is for making the sound O. And the sounds for O and U are the same. And W and Q, that mouth set is also the same as O and U here, but usually it's a little bit smaller. So if you don't have uh, this list of mouth movements, you can also just like look at your own mouth in the mirror as you talk. And uh, make note of the different shapes it makes. 
Okay, so now that we have a little bit of an idea of how the mouth should move, we can now start drawing the mouth. Now first things first, we just need to make all of the basic mouth movements. If you noticed, there were not movements for every single letter in the alphabet. That's because our mouth doesn't do a different move every time. Um, we just have a few basic shapes. So let's just run down all of them. So I'm gonna just write out the different mouth movements in Notepad. Okay, so these are basically all of the mouth movements we need. Um, the ones that are uh, beside each other, those are going to mean those are going to be uh, used in the exact same frame, like the uh, form of the mouth, the shape of the mouth for A is the same as the shape of the mouth for I, and with S and T and C and E, with M and B and P, with F and V, and with O, Q, U, and W. So let's start drawing in the mouth movements. Starting with the easiest, because that's uh, pretty nice to do. Okay, this is the first mouth, and this is the very easiest it can get. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, come over here, and this is the layer that we're going to switch between for the mouth movements and we're going to duplicate drawing and set this frame to 2 erase this mouth and draw another one this shape is going to need a new color so let's make a new one and let's do this again duplicate drawing and 3 erase, set the eraser to lines and areas to erase everything and keep going. Okay, now we have all of our mouth movements. It's time to start lip syncing. So, at frame 1, she's going to be sort of frowning before she talks, so let's go to frame 10, which is the frown, and drag it down until we, the audio starts, which is right here. Yeah, okay, but the other plan was still better. And when you're lip syncing, you don't want to pay attention to the words so much as the sounds that the uh, audio clip is made up of. So let's listen to this first word. Yeah, okay. She's saying, yeah. And uh, with her accent, it sounds more like, e yeah. So let's go to the mouth movement for E, which is four. Drag it down until she says, ah. And then we will use the ah frame. Oh, this is also something to watch out for. Sometimes when you are making the mouth movements, the frames for, like this one, AI, it looks positive when you want the scene, when you want the character to be frowning, when you want the effect to be negative. So then you'll just make an extra mouth with a more negative tilt. So this is still AI, it's just that she's frowning. So let's drag that down and see how it looks. Yeah, okay. It's also slow. Yeah, okay. And after the A, ah, we go to O. And O is on frame, let's see, O is on frame 2.
and for the slight k sound for OK, we'll just use uh, the ETC, which is frame 4. Yeah, OK, but... And then the negative A again, 12. And then once she finishes saying OK, we have A, and then at the end it sounds more like E. OK. So then we will go back to frame 4 to finish that up. Yeah, OK, but the yep. And then B. Let me move this frame up a little. When lip syncing, you want to anticipate the sound. You don't want to make the lips move right on top of the sound. You want to start it just a few seconds before. Because when you're talking, you can't just... Your words do not um, go at the same speed as your mouth. Your mouth first forms the word, and then you make the sound. So keep that in mind. Okay, now we have B. So we have this frowny mouth, and which is B, M, and P. Frame six, and that's only there for a second. Yeah, okay, but the. Yeah. And then we go back to negative AI, and I will finish the lip syncing without commentary for the rest of this. Okay, now that our lip syncing is done, we can save the file. Good, it didn't crash. Open Tunes crashes on me so often. Okay, let's uh, listen to it again. I'm sorry that the audio is jerky, but uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, okay, but the other plan was still better. So, we have some pretty decent lip syncing here. And uh, you can go into more detail with it sometimes if you want. Also, let's see what happens if we uh, move her around. We can uh, make a frame here. Set keyframe, go to the end, set another keyframe of her moved over here, and we see that the, we left the mouth behind. Now, if this was a normal animation, like more traditional, we would have to redraw her mouth on every frame as she moves away. But here we don't have to because it is all in one level. We can just move the entire level over. That is the advantage of doing the mouth like this. You can move it around everywhere and uh, just go crazy. It's really easy. Yeah, okay, but the other plan was still better. And I'm sorry for the weird dialogue. I have no idea what she is talking about. Maybe this character will end up in my show. Maybe she's a cynic. I don't know. I just randomly said something because she looks fussy. So I thought, let's give her some fussy dialogue. Okay, that is it for this lip syncing tutorial. Uh, final word. Um, you, I haven't figured out how to export as a uh, video file, like MP4. Um, apparently there's something wrong with my computer, FFmpeg not found, so that means that I have to render it as an image sequence, which usually crashes, yep, there we go, but, but uh, when you're working with sound like this, if you render as image sequence, it is not going to render the sound with it. So that is a slight problem, but not too much. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to fix Open Tunes and then render this whole thing as an image sequence and put it into a video editing software and line up the audio with it there. And this is how it turned out. Yeah, okay, but the other plan was still better. Yeah, okay, but the other plan was still better. And I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, 
If there's anything that I didn't explain clearly enough, let me know in the comments and I'll try to uh, make it understandable. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Check out some of the other tutorials and videos on my channel. And uh, I will see you guys later.